Hey, it's your CEO, Weekend Gabe, and thanks for watching Weekend at Gabe's. We hope that you enjoy this latest episode. While you're here, hit the subscribe button and follow us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Anyways, Weekend Gabe, it is not time to, to talk about our Thanksgiving. It is time to get back to business. It's time to get back to America's favorite news segment. Ladies and gentlemen, your mother doesn't care. Your father doesn't give a shit. Your strange aunts and uncles don't give a damn, but there is one man who cares, so you don't have to. And his name is Weekend Gabe, and that's why it's news that only Gabe cares about. All right, the World Cup is yes. heading into the round of 16 tomorrow. World Cup. Sam is excited. Uh, I have this- I have moved my office to the living room so I can watch all the games. Shout out to anybody from work who might be watching right now. <laughs> The, the the school I work in, the which is in a predominantly Mexican community in Chicago, they uh I to my surprise, they were letting the kids watch the the World Cup in in their rooms because it was at one. To your o'clock. surprise, brother, this is the biggest event every four years. You know, I, we're, this is bigger we're, we're, than the Olympics. I, I just didn't think that teachers teachers would be like, man, fuck that. Yo, we got we got a test coming up, baby. No, fuck the, that. Mexico is on right now. <laughs> Turn it to the game. Every every kid had their Chromebook during recess, during lunch, running the game. How they got on and figured out how to stream it live. I, you know what's crazy? I've seen construction workers with it taped, like duct taped to their hard hat. Wow. Watching it as they paint or, do, you know, like putting it sound siding and all. shit. Doesn't sound dangerous at all. Yeah, keep. keep I mean, it sounds awesome. Life. It sounds awesome. <laughs> Shout out, you know, like the the best people in the world are the people who are like, stop whatever's going on. Mexico's on the TV. Like, that's awesome. It, exactly. So, uh, your England team is moving on, correct? We are. We are as well uh, as the U.S. national team. Uh, but one team uh, did not move on. And, and to be fair, it was a dramatic ass day today. Uh, shout out to Belgium for going home, and also the Germans. Fuck you, Germans. I don't give a shit. Goodbye. We will see you later for the second tournament of a row. Didn't make it out the group stage. But for the first time in, I believe, three tournaments, Mexico also didn't make it out the group stage. And there were some reactions we can get. Let's get to it. The internet's blessed us with this video, and it doesn't disappoint. Oh, wait. Hang on. Yes. This is content we come to news to see. Fuck you. Oh, yes. Man, my man is hot. Ah, uh, bro. The, oh, oh, okay. Look at it. There you go. Oh. Give, it, give it off. There you go. Fuck so, to shit. be clear, uh, they won that game. They did. Uh, they, they won that game. Uh, they won that game, I believe, 3-1. Yes. Uh, and... It was not enough. They needed to. Oh, win. it was it was two to one, and I think they needed to score three goals. They needed to score a third one. It needed right. to be three to one. You are you are correct about yeah. that. Um, so, <laughs> in a win in a game where they scored an absolutely sublime free kick, by the way, um, they did not have enough uh, because in the other game in that group, I think South Korea did not do their job against somebody. And, uh, yeah, so Mexico, even though they won, were not able to advance for the first time in, I think, 16 years, which is three Shit. tournaments. Shit. Damn. Yeah. The, uh, the coach was fired as the full-time whistle blew. His direct quote was, my contract expired with the final whistle. I, I like that. He, he, he knew that, I mean, the fact that he was able to get a uh, flight home is also very generous of the Mexican team. Who knows if he did? He might still be trapped in Qatar with their human rights record. Anything is possible. But, um, yes. All right. So so, so, so the question is, uh, can you remember one sports moment where it might have escalated you to knock over your TV or maybe rage stab it. I don't know. I think it. I think it's uh, ironic that Spicy Mike is in the chat right now, and I hope he will uh, second this. But me and Spicy Mike, uh, during the infamous double dunk, were watching that in my basement in Oak Park, uh, and I have never been more dejected by a sporting moment. I got to be honest with you. It, it hits the post one time, and I'm like, and bounces in the air. I'm like, oh, it might go in. And then hits the post the second time and bounces out. And you know the shape of a football. That's just like, that's just bad luck, man. All the way around. I, yeah, I remember being so dejected after that game. 
Uh, that game sticks out of my mind. 2014, LeBron James in the playoffs at the United Center. Pushes off Jimmy mm. Butler in the corner. Hits the three to win the game with no time left. That one hurt. I literally stood up from my TV and said, well, that hurts. That really hurts. And yeah. uh, also Euro 2004, losing on penalties to Portugal. Shout out my England squad. We, we won't let it happen again. We won't <laughs> let it happen again. Uh, my uh, 1994, Scotty Pippen, Phantom Call, Hugh Hollins. He's dead now, but the fucking worst. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> He's the uh, look it up, it's bullshit call. Uh, <laughs> the Bulls potentially could have went to the finals without Michael Jordan and won a title. I'm just gonna leave that out there, potentially. Uh, it and didn't then, happen though, did it? We could, uh, no, but it that, did not happen. Yeah. I mean, it worked out in the end, right? But still, I think that would have been not for Scotty Pippen. I think it would have been amazing, <laughs> amazing for a world champion, Scotty Pippen, to win the title without Michael Jordan and have Michael Jordan come back and try to reassume the leadership role after he just won a title. I think that you would think, have been amazing. You think amazing. they won the 3 if, if Scotty wins that year? Probably not, I, I feel like. I mean, they would have 4 peated technically because they would have won. And then for Jordan Right, you think they would have won seven in a row, I guess. No, um, I, I no, the, everything would have changed now. I, I, yeah. I, I feel like, I feel like they wouldn't have won in '97 and '98 because there would have been issues. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the Bears losing the Super Bowl, no six to the Colts. That still stings. I can't watch it. Uh, I, I refuse to watch. <laughs> Spicy that. Mike says the Bulls would have won seven in a row. I like <laughs> I like that confidence. I do. I really do. Uh, and then the other one is the the Bears losing the uh, I think it was the 2008. Season whatever it is, I think it was two thousand nine. Yeah, the the, yeah. N- the NFC title game in at home against the Packers. That those to me are the ones we that still just don't like, like you, Jay Cutler. Wherever you're at, we still, still don't like your Republican loving ass. We don't love that shit. <laughs> yeah, if if I if I had the means to replace a TV, that shit would have got stabbed up, burned, uh, curb stomped. I mean, yeah, I would give it. That is the thing about this video is that there all of these sports moments that we're talking about, none of them would have made me destroy my personal property but i i feel it yeah no there are, there are some sports moments where you just drop to your knees man you know it's it's tough all right well we're gonna keep the unhinged moving that seems to be a theme <laughs> so far but uh monopoly you love the game i don't like the game at all i think it's stupid i think we know i think i know where this is going and i think i know why you don't like the game <laughs> Well, uh, one family's game night turned violent and ended in gunplay when a fight broke out between two men during a game in Monopoly, Oklahoma police say. The family was playing at home on Tulsa's east side, which is, I I don't know if that's the best side, but uh, (laughs) apparently that's where the the shit goes down. They were playing a game uh, around 6.30 on November 26th, and then they also had been drinking. A man got into an argument with his stepfather and it escalated and turned physical. They flipped the Monopoly board and knocked over furniture before continuing the fight outside. Uh, I've played video games where fists might have been thrown and, you know, uh, <laughs> bodies thrown across the room, but not for a board game. I don't think I've escalated it that far. It reminds me of an old Dane Cook joke uh, where he's like, every Monopoly game ends the same way. Fuck you, Grandma. I'm tired of playing this <laughs> shit. It's 3 a.m. You know? <laughs> Uh, and I think that's uh, what happens here. I, I think what's funnier about this, and I don't know if you have the mugshot. Maybe it wasn't appropriate to put the mugshot in there. But the guy who <laughs> committed this crime kind of looks like Kobe White. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, you know, uh, when I when I first heard about this in the group chat, it was, uh, Kobe White, what are you doing? You know? <laughs> um, but, yeah, no. Uh, Monopoly, you know, when, when you're tired of paying that rent, you're just tired of paying that rent. And that goes for life or monopoly, you know? No, nah, big, big facts. Um, yeah, I, board games have never have never gone that route. But when uh, when we used to play Nintendo, uh, Super Tecmo Bowl, the, the game that we did game plays for, that game we would play hours and, uh, man, 
I, I after the games were like after a close, you know, like man, fuck this shit. <laughs> fucking run run the like take your remote like if you if you brought a controller fuck you i'm taking my controller you know, if you brought the game <laughs> fuck you i'm taking, taking my game. ball I'm going home yeah oh yeah like man that 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 shit would escalate but not this, i mean but we also wasn't busting cannons at each other either. i remember you know cut the, certain motherfuckers would cut that shit off to, to not record the loss you know oh on, on yeah system. that's big fucked up yeah, he's yeah. Like, he's like, like, I have like, a perfect record on this. So I'm like, cut that shit off. I'm like, man, I just want to see the stats. I just want to see yeah, the stats. Fuck you. Stats. Yeah, fuck that shit, bro. Man, not getting wild. a dub. <laughs> not today, you're not. <laughs> All right, let's head over to our next story on oh, news that Gabe only cares about. Spicy Mike says he files <laughs> Monopoly L's on his tax returns. Listen, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes it a definitely. lot of sense. All right, LL Cool J is doing a um, a boat oh, show, fuck no, a cruise show, hip hop cruise show. The first uh, he says in fifty years. Listen, um, I was just thinking about this. Uh, I told my wife. Who wants this. to see? All right, all right I, maybe well, let, everybody let remembers that. Trick Daddy more fondly than I do. But anyways, okay. continue. Well, so, uh, so I don't. I'm at the point now where like I don't want. Like I buy the stuff that I want, so there's nothing that I really want for Christmas, right? So I was like, "Don't buy me anything." But let's me and my wife were. I was like, "Tell my wife, we're like, listen, let's uh, let's book a cruise or something for next year that we can go to, you know, like pay it off throughout the year to you know whatever." And and then, but then this idea comes up, and I see this, I'm like, "This is perfect. This is actually <laughs> exactly what I had in mind." You already for, tortured your kids once. Why are you doing it again on a cruise? Oh no, 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 no! This, this is a mommy and daddy tour. Like this ain't this ain't. Oh, for the kids. this is not for the kids. You yeah, deserve no, this. Four, says, st- four days, five stages, Miami to the Bahamas, November when it's cold in Chicago. I mean, I'm not saying there like are, tri- there are not hitters there. You know what I'm saying? Like there are what, like this it's trick daddy before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm not saying that. Have you Trick seen? Da- all, right, all right, just just you. Have you seen Trick Daddy in in 2022? I, I have. It's not. He's not. He's not doing good out there. He's looking it's bad. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. I I'm not saying that Trick Daddy and Trina are gonna be the hook to to get me because I imagine that there's gonna be like LL is gonna perform. I would assume so, right? Fly in, knock out. You, like you a, would a assume at least once on those five stages over the I course mean, of. Man, I might actually go insane though. Like that's too much. It's too much. I don't care. I don't care. Unless I Snoop think- is there, I really don't want to come. So it looks like it started. It's a hundred dollar down payment, and then the cabins can go for like between four and five racks. So, um, I mean, I, just, I, I don't know, man. I, I think it's kind of a cool idea. But also it has Firefest kind of like written under Written all over it. Yeah, definitely <laughs> ingrained into the, you know, the poop deck, as it were, you know. This definitely feels like a job rule generated idea of like, yo, let me get back in the game. <laughs> it sounds like a um like an AI somebody would create. Like type in anything and I'll produce a job rule ideated idea, you know? Yeah, exactly. So uh uh I don't know, man. I'm 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 I, I might need to put up my hundred bucks just to secure my cabin, and then you know I'll decide from there if I want to really if I really want to go on this trip. Ain't no way LL Cool J is worth four or five racks. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I don't like even if you melted him down at this point. I don't think. But anyways, all right. Last show, last story of the night. A man won the legal right to not be fun at work after refusing to embrace excessive alcohol alcoholism and promiscuity. Uh, so let's get into the the French court has ruled that the companies can't fire their workers for failing to sufficiently be fun, quote unquote. Uh, I, I was thinking about this as I was reading this. That, this is in France. Yeah, uh, right. I was thinking about this. Workers get everything in France. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, the last job I was at. So you know when I was uh, doing the gamecation in L.A. Right, that was on the that was on yeah. the company yeah, that was yeah. on company company dime, but there would be. Parts of the travel that would require like uh, group outings to like eat up your night in LA, right? And you right, have to right. Go to like uh, go to a bar. And these are mandatory. They 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 weren't explicitly said that, but it was definitely like 
hey, we're going to dinner tonight. Be right. ready. And meet <laughs> be us there. ready. Meet us there. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, and and I remember talking with um, uh, someone about this, and there's like, that's fucked up because technically, if you're off the clock, regardless of where you're at, right? If it's five o'clock and you're off the clock, you shouldn't be required to go to anything, even if it's you know you're traveling with them and it's right. supposed to be like a, a team building experience. And I agree with that. Like, if I don't want to go to the shit, I shouldn't be required to or punished if i don't so i think Mike that, Mike I is think asking if the guy in this news story is a stripper and that does that you know where does the line end you know because there are some jobs you kind of have to be fun you know what i mean like this does i i'm wondering if this flies at like disney paris which i know exists uh you know like can you you don't have to be fun if you work for disney paris i don't think that's true you know like yeah Man, I don't know. I, I, I'd have to dig deeper into the precedent that uh, some uh, French judge has set here. But at the same time, uh, because good, good for the guy, I guess. He, he got like half a million this, bucks. This picture is, that we have on the screen right now is awful. I hate most of it. <laughs> can, we, can we move on to the next frame? No, or? This is it. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are at the end of the road, uh, boys to men. Wow. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this wow. is it. But yeah, he got half a million for this, uh, for his his, for his suffering. Are you serious? Half a million? Forget it, bro. Go be fun elsewhere, anywhere else. You can go on an LL Cool J sponsored cruise for that amount of money, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I will buy, be buy, here all buy week. Out the, buy out the whole floor, man. Buy out the whole floor. Yeah, man. All right. I, I, he got all of this just because they peer pressured him into taking one shot. I'm over it. I am over it. <laughs> he said. He said. Mike says you'll be fun for free, and I agree. You know, you don't. You don't even have to pay me. Let me. Said, let me come be fun in your workplace. He's like, I don't want to deal with. He's like, I don't want to see y'all motherfuckers after five o'clock. What's the problem? Like, what don't you understand about this? <laughs> like, I mean, I. I really do I really agree with this a thousand percent. All right. Uh, well, that's news that Gabe only cares about on this Thursday, December first. The first. Twenty twenty two. God damn it. Thanks for watching this latest episode. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you're looking for more, click on any of the episodes swirling around my head. And also, don't forget to follow us on the socials at Weekend Gabe, at Weekend at Gabe's, and also at The Real Sam Crane. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all.